And welcome to Cosmic Mission Level Review. This is the first galaxy, first location. Hey, you might be familiar with this location. This is the Milky Way. And this location is near that planet, planet Earth. We start our story right after discovering and unlocking the power of the cosmic energy stored inside the cosmic crystal. And all we have to do today is simply use this drone, harvest that energy to fuel up this ship so we can take this thing to the other side of the cosmos where there are other crystals just like that, filled with more energy, harvest it and bring it back to Earth. Simple. What we need to do first is go inside the ship. And you do that by hitting B. Thank you, prompt. This is where you control the game. We have a view up and a view to the right. Also a view to see the drone. And we also have navigational information. We are in the galaxy. We have to get some energy to go far. Here's some settings, difficulty level. We'll get into all this later. But right now we need to look at level one, location one. We have over here the time, suggested time it takes, one minute and five seconds. I have yet to go anywhere, so my time is zero. My high score is zero, everything is zero. But also, it tells you how much energy we should gather. 30 units to fill up one star, 40 units to fill up two stars, and 50 units to fill up three stars. What we have to do now is to launch this drone and gather the crystal energy. To do that, you use your pointer finger, laser pointer, highlight the launch button, and hit A. Whoosh! There goes the drone. Now you could, in theory, control the drone from here, but I prefer going out to the OmniView by hitting B. Yeah, thank you, graphical prompt. Once out in the OmniView, we can see the whole layout of the level. This one is a pretty straightforward one. Typically, I would say, spoiler alert, this is how to solve this level. Since this is a tutorial one, I'll walk you through it. Drone, zero energy. Crystal, 100 energy, with the potential to transfer 50. That's what that means. That has 100, that is zero, it could transfer 50. Let's take a second to think about that. 100 divided by two is 50. That would be balanced. So we gotta get that over there. Hear that music? I've been taking too long to talk. My time is running out. I've almost taken a minute, and we have three seconds left. What do I do? Well, that's okay. I just won't get the bonus points. Back outside. All right, to control the drone, after launching, you get control of it, and you can do all fun things. This is what's fun. I like this because it's like flying an RC plane. You got throttle, you got controls, you're in space, you're having a good time. Whoa, it gets a little hot. Don't worry, is this a ramjet? If it gets hot, that's okay. It cools down. All right, let's get close to this crystal. Not too close. It's a very unstable crystal and it will explode if you touch it. Luckily, we have proximity ring indicators. Let's get close. There they are. Now, I know you're watching this on a flat screen, but those rings in VR look awesome. All right, let's get a little closer. Oh, not quite. Boom. Transferring at a slow rate. To increase that rate, you get a little closer. But not too close. Boom. Got it. All the rings are filled up. But those rings indicate first ring fills up if you have any energy. Second ring, if you filled up the first container requirements, which is 30. Second ring, or third ring. And fourth ring, likewise. Two stars, one star, three star. Maybe not in that order. Sometimes you gotta think out of order. All right, we got what we need, 50. Well, look at that, that's 50. Balanced. 
See how it's balanced? Like everything in the cosmos, entropy wants to be balanced. All right, so now all we have to do is dock this drone into the space station. Luckily for us, we don't have to land it perfectly by using reverse thrusters and aligning it up just right. All we have to do is get that drone into that ring and slow down and the automatic docking system will take over. I'll show you how it works. Slow down, automatic docking. Let's see what it looks like from inside. There it is. Four main pistons pull back in. The extractor piston pulls out the cosmetic energy and fills up the pipes. One, two, three. We hit our objectives. Let's look over tiling. We collected 50 energy units. Wait, what's that? Something's telling us. Oh yes, since we hit enough fuel, we're ready to take off and go to the next location. Well, I'll get back to that. I want to go over tallying real quick. 50 energy units times 100, 5,000. Boom, awesome. We got three containers, 1,000 each. Bonus, 3,000. Well, I was a little slow, so I didn't get any bonus time. So I just got a flat 8,000. Now, if I was uh, had a harder difficulty, I would have gotten an extra multiplier and that would have grown, but I'm on easy. You can do it on a harder difficulty if you have the piloting skills. And this shows me, it keeps track of what my highest score was based off of points and time and then energies collected in time. Believe me, there's a slight difference there. If I hit that, I can try again. That's what the warning is. It just resets the whole level and you can do it all again. We're ready to check out the second galaxy in the first location. Select it, and that right there tells us it's gonna spin up the rings. Let me show you what rings. Those rings, and it'll bombard the energy of the crystal with a magnetic wave that will open up time and space and allow us to travel across the cosmos. And then we will be so far, we've been to where humans have never been before. Ah, oh, it'll be great. And we just have to harvest that crystal and and get the energy and then come back to earth and we will be the hero we will be the champions we will allow human beings to travel across the galaxy once we've harvested enough energy we will unlock the human race from our own galaxy and enable us to go to so many more places so many grand new universes it'll be awesome oh wait universes no way, this would be the same universe. Oh, moving on. Let's launch. Spinning up. Oh, very good. Oh, yes. Here we go, guys. Hold on. Well, we're about ready to war, 